anyways, I want to start this video out as a thank you to everyone that had commented on the last video. As you can imagine, it was a little bit nerve-wracking even posting that I have achieved this dream car that I own now. Because, you know, obviously there's going to be some good and some bad comments out there. But at the end of the day, my advice to all you guys is to never stop pushing for your dream. Never stop pushing to make goals in life. And you can do anything you want. So I just want to, again, say thank you so much for all the positive support that we have on this channel. Thank you, guys. Um, before we get into today's video, I'm going to show you guys something that we've been in the works with. We have some new clothing that we're going to be releasing to you guys. I think you're going to be really excited so right here i have one of our hoodies you can see we got our new logo made on here and all new design on the back there we are boys this is like i said a hoodie we have this in the shirts as well i can open this up better for you so there it is we got bbr tune we got the moon it says hold on we're going to the moon because you have to, where you guys know where you want to go so these are going to be available soon. We also have one of our own uh, Beta Belt Racing shirts, all new design that we are going to be releasing at the same time as this, as long as some stickers as well. So working on that stuff in the background for you, big shout out to Northwest Print Co. That is who's been taking care of this for us. So you guys are going to be seeing that very, very soon, but I just wanted to show you, keep an eye out because we're going to be doing this drop soon for you guys. I'll let you know sooner we get closer to that date as we're done. I got the sweaters, uh, we're, and I got the shirts for this, but we're still waiting on the other one. So as soon as I got these actually in hand, we will go ahead and release them for you boys. And you're not going to want to miss out. There's not that many, so don't miss your chance. So let's get into today's video, and I will catch you guys up to speed. All right, so as we're transitioning back into the normal themes here, guys, I'm going to point out one thing that some of you were asking. Uh, you saw that this was on the dyno. Some of you got quickly confused because we have a different bumper on VA bait. So this is still our race car. Obviously, this is the car that you've seen always in the background. Uh, I went ahead, switched back to an original bumper on this car. Uh, big thank you to Remy. He was changing his bumper to a newer style. That's where I picked one up the same color as this thing. And I did go ahead and have to cut it out for the inner core so that we can get some good flow across our core. But for those of you that were confused, this is still the race car. It is in the background here. It is all ready to go. We are going to be going out racing here at the end of the month. Excited for that. So stay on board. Otherwise, what we have here, and that's what we're going to be working on today. So some of you will know uh, manual. This is Manu STI 18, if you guys are just checking in. Uh, me and Manuel have been friends for a long time, um, back from my days of being with HMS. And I do take care of him on this car. We are a sponsor with a Manuel on his car. He does a lot of show car stuff anymore. Beautiful, hyper blue, very happy to be a part of. Uh, we're going to be doing some maintenance on this thing today. He supplied me with a list. This car is from Portland. Um, it got brought up to us and like I said, he does a lot of shows So we just need to go through and clean up a couple things on the car. Nothing too major um, It doesn't have any hood struts on it right now. So that's why you see the hood down But to give you an idea very beautiful setup here uh, If I had to quickly remember off the top of my head, this does have a stage 4 extreme um, Not sure if it's a long block or a short block from IAG. It does have a precision 7675 turbo with an ETS uh, T4 up pipe, and it has a custom down pipe there for those that are wondering. Some beautiful titanium piping amongst everything else that obviously is to make power. Process West, um, BC cam gears, which we'll get into that later on. But like I said, I'm gonna have to hold this hood up some way or another because we don't have hood struts. And we are gonna be getting into this day, kind of a DIY style of a video. I think a, a lot of you will enjoy this. So. Uh, the first thing we're going to be tackling on today is going to be an oil leak. So I will put this thing in the air, show you guys where this oil is coming from, and then we'll kind of go across on how to figure out where it's coming from and what you need to do. So let me get the scene in the air and we'll take a look. All right, so here we are underneath the car. Um, taking a quick glance here and looking, we're going to notice that there is some oil coming down the oil pan here. So this thing is having an oil leak issue. Uh, if you take a closer glance up here, and I know I'm using my phone right now, so hopefully the lighting is decent, but you're going to notice some oil on the bottom of the timing cover. On the driver's side, we have oil coming down on the center of the cover. And if you go underneath here, you can see there's some oil on the bottom of the oil pump, along with passenger timing cover. So we know we have a timing leak. 
for our oil. Um, things that are going to contribute to that is going to be, you know, your your cam seals, uh, your front main seal, and this not having AVCS because obviously it has the BC cam gears on it. Um, it's not too uncommon that those things do cause issues of leaks. Um, one of the biggest things that I see that is missed on those um, is the ones that have oil. So obviously on these cars we have oil running through upper and lower cam, so intake and exhaust. Uh, the bolt needs to be changed to a non-AVCS bolt because obviously you're not using the AVCS gear anymore. So you don't want oil to come through that camshaft anymore. Um, so you're using a non-ABCS gear bolt and you're going to want to put some sealant on that bolt. Otherwise, if you don't, it will eventually start to come out of the bolt. Not in a crazy amount, you know, you're running the car, it's, it's not going to be draining its oil out of the car. But it is going to seep and start to cause, you know, oil leaks such as we have here. I don't think that's the main root of the cause that we have here of why we're having this oil come down. I think it's going to be a mixture, you know, of cam seals and possibly the oil pump or the main seal on the oil pump. He had let me know that the oil pump had been taken apart before, um, the inspector for whatever reason why, and that, that could possibly be having issues with having a leak. So I'm gonna dive into that today. First steps, I'm gonna start with this. So we are diving into an oil leak scenario that does involve our timing. So we are gonna drain the coolant system not always do you have to do this, but this car has a CSF radiator in it, and the CSF is definitely a lot thicker than most. And this car has an ATI crank pulley on it, which I'm gonna have to use a remover tool to get it off. Um, so that's gonna make me have to pull that radiator out. Not a big deal. Um, you know, on a stock car, you can get away with just pulling the radiator fans and be able to get into your timing system. But like I said, this car is gonna be a little bit different, so I'm gonna put the camera down. Uh, I'm gonna start getting the coolant drained, and then we'll go up to the top, tackle this together, see what we come across see how this thing looks all right now that i found a hood holder for the time being i'm going to show you guys through the top what i mean about this the cs radiator is pretty thick great radiators um, but it does limit our space here to be able to work with and i'd rather just be able to work comfortably here so next up we are gonna be getting this out of our way i was just going to show you the ati down there um, we are going to obviously be taking our belts off so this is going to have to come off disconnect your battery because we are going to be pulling the alternator off here and then we'll be able to have access all to our timing area so i'm going to go ahead and just jump forward real quick on that stuff and then we'll be right to where we need to be checking out our leaks all right i'm back from lunch i went and got four brand new cam seals for this and i do have the main uh front main seal for the oil pump here but here is with the better light going on here we can see we have some oil build up over here hopefully this is staying pretty clear let me try to put this light so it doesn't blind off to the side. No, that's not helping. But what I'm taking a look at here is the cam seals on our camshafts, obviously. I'm seeing that it looks like the seal has a little bit of hard crustiness going around the actual camshaft. This one is a little bit wet to the touch, so you can see some oil on my finger there. Also, like I was talking about before, this intake cam has ports for oil to go through, right? But these have been welded, but the hole for the bolt still carries oil through it. So uh, you don't put any sealant in, in there, then it'll eventually start to kind of push some oil out of the bolt. So we're gonna fix that, clean that up, clean all the oil off here. Obviously there's a bunch of oil coming off the oil pump. So we're gonna have to figure out where or why that's coming off of there. Um, I don't know if I wanna say it's coming out of the seal, but I mean, I, I am seeing some oil residue and you can tell it's definitely flaining it. So we're gonna replace the seal there. Moving over to the driver's side, definitely quite a bit of oil here and you are seeing some buildup around the seal. So we're gonna replace all these seals, get all these timing covers cleaned out. I gotta pull the tension out there, inspect it and clean all this up. So let's go ahead and get that stuff off and I will show you the oil pump once we get that cleaned up too and getting that seal out. So let's do that. All right, so I got the seals out. I know some of you guys, here, let's just adjust a little bit. I'll try to put it like that. I know some of you guys are gonna ask, how the heck do you get these seals out? Um, they're gonna, they make seal polar tools. You can also use a flathead. Um, the flathead method definitely does work. That's what I personally use, but over time, you know, I've, I've done many of these. Um, the biggest thing is that you don't wanna scar up your surface that you're pulling your seal out. So if you're having to dig in there so hard that you're going past the seal and into where the seal actually obviously seals at, then you're gonna scar it up and you'll be in the bigger problem. So if you don't feel comfortable, maybe just order a cam seal removal tool. But all our seals are out now, everything is cleaned. Um, I went ahead and cleaned each individual 
cam gear and pulley. These things are all spotless now. You can see here's the old seals, which they're gonna obviously be pretty messed up right there where I grabbed at the flathead. But you can tell there I didn't go into where it seals on the side. So um, those are all garbage now. So we won't be needing those. And then now we can grab our brand new ones. And to put these in, we are gonna be using none other than our company 23 tools. If you guys don't have them, guys, I really highly suggest the company 23 tools to get these cam seals in properly and right. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab those so that way we can get this stuff installed. So here we have our cam seal and crank tool. Big shout out to my guys at company 23. They make sure that we can do this the best way possible. So I'm gonna get those tossed in. Uh, one thing to know, I did clean off everything. As you guys can see, it's spotless now. So that is the biggest thing with this job and any build, anything you're doing with your car, clean off any of the oil because you want to be able to see if you still have an issue or a problem down the road you don't want to leave all that oil on there so good you know go buy like five cans of brake cleaner that's probably about what this took to be honest with you guys and it is spotless now everything is clean and the way it should be i am going to go ahead and double check all the bolts to make sure everything's torqued in here before we get too far and then we will be going into the back to getting this thing timed um i did next day at a timing belt for this thing so it's not going to be here till tomorrow morning so i'm just going to get this thing ready to go to where everything is on and it's ready to be timed and then we'll have to catch up on this video in the morning and i'll get to building a couple blocks so let me get those cam seals in and then we'll catch up to where we're at then okay so all our cam seals are installed now i already got the sprocket on the crankshaft so you're gonna see that but yeah all the cam seals are installed now so that way we can start getting the scene back together. Like I said, I'm just gonna throw the scene back to where I can time the scene in the morning. Um, I do wanna put sealant on these upper bolts, so I'm just gonna sit them in there for now because I can't properly torque them without the belt because these are BC cam gears, so there's no real way to grab these, to torque these without a belt. So I'm like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and get everything laid out, get the scene ready to go. So that way in the morning when I get the belt, I can catch you guys up and we can time the scene and be done. Um, put it back together, start it up, make sure we don't got no leaks, and that will finish up the front timing area there. And then I think there's just some small stuff left on there. Uh, I checked the coolant leak on the radiator cap, lower hose, which I didn't see any leak there. Um, so check some wiring. I think we need to clean up some wiring over here so that way we can get it away from his downpipe or at least cover it so it's safe. And then I think it's just left to clean up the map on the car so that way he's good to go. So like I said guys, I'm going to toss this all back together up here to where the point I'm ready to time it. And then obviously I'll put sealant on those bolts later on. So you guys will see that and I'll catch you up in the morning. Alright, welcome back boys. Next morning we got our belt. So now we are ready to put the scene all together today. Uh, I would have recorded another car that you guys may have seen on our social media. Uh, that would have been Devin's car. It was a launch edition blue STI. Like I said, you may have seen it on our social media, but we were doing the, pretty much the exact same job as this with the exception of changing out his uh, water pump because the weep hole in the water pump was leaking on that car. So since I already recorded this, I didn't record that for you guys. Like I said, I'm going to get that thrown on today and get this thing buttoned up in the front. Uh, and then we'll start this thing up, make sure there's no leaks. And from there, we'll be moving on to the next step. So let's go ahead and get that out of the box, get this thing all timed up, and we'll be able to move on to our next step. I don't think they running at my pace Jordan ones, gotta keep them laced If she bad, I might have to get a taste Whip go vroom, I'll set them on a chase Belt is all on, everything is torqued, timed, dead on, spot on, very happy with it. Don't know how good the lighting is going to be there, but if you can see, you can see. And then I made Emmanuel get a brand new OEM cover because that other one was hammered. So we are going to be putting this thing on the car, that way we can keep all that grime, road grime out of the timing area. I'm still not sure what he's going to do about his other covers because he has uh, clear ones too. So at least I'll have this on because it's the main one to get on that's a pain. But I'm going to go ahead and get this thrown on, get the scene thrown back together, then get the radiator back in the car, and we'll get the fluids back in it and start this scene up. And fingers crossed, we have no more oil leaks. Now, I don't think it's probably going to leak 
immediately if it did, but we're gonna have the covers off and we can watch with the exception of that center one. So let's get the scene tossed together and finally be done with this job. All right, just wrapping up. Leaving the coolant system. Everything is good to go. That is gonna wrap this one up, boys. This car will be going on the dyno here soon, but today, your turn. Yeah, so let's get this thing on the dyno. We'll save that one for another video. So you guys will see that in the next one. Living life up in the fast lane. Living life up in the fast lane. Living life up in the fast lane. about tomorrow i'm just living in the moment the moment the moment fool take a gas and 200 on the dash bitch i'm zoning i'm zoning i'm zoning fast lane living life up in the fast lane Pedal to the ground, pedal to the ground